put the fear in me. I don't know how I really be. I ain't saying I got the keys. Seems to me we never free. Use all my energy. Kiss me with your tendencies. Ain't none of y'all men to me. Tell y'all try to me. Like you leaders, lock us up and beat us. Don't want scrap the feeders. Wish you would turn to dust. Cussing fuss to get a rust. You can see them blush. We're tired. We're rough. We ain't had enough. The time is risen. Close schools, but not the prison. Took our language and religion. Put themselves in high position. You can cry and not gon' listen. Let you see you penny bitch. Fuck the system. Never gon' stop our mission. Now I'm screaming, fuck the system. Lower ways, high tuition. Want a job? Come to prison. What's up, y'all? It's Dr. J, aka J Deuces. Now, in this video, I'm gonna break down um, this court case. This is old school Judge Joe Brown. And uh, this is this is just one of many reasons why I don't like child support and I hate this whole feminist mu movement. Let's get it started. We have is a claim by the plaintiff that the defendant is obligated to her for failure to pay back rentals, utilities, and also for the cost of a, what is this, DNA paternity test that the two of them engaged in. Uh, apparently, the two of them have taken the test and directed that it be furnished to me for my inspection with whomever. Well, in other words, if he's not the father, then she pays. If he is the father, she uh, gets paid. Father. You'll be paying. That's good. <laughs> Yeah. That's good. Don't, don't get in here. That ain't out. bad. Don't get in here. Show out. Well, yes. I, I I'm, I'm not going to try to record. Mm -hmm. Well, just just chill. Just a little yes, bit. Sir. Right. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir, Your Honor. <laughs> Judge Joe Brown. You know how to act better. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Stop. I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to show out. Stop. Would, you, would you stop? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. I'll try not to. Can you hold still or are you under the influence? Um, under the influence. Hey. Under the influence. Not Here, you're going to see. The case starts off immediately telling you that this woman is not even sure that this guy is the father of her kid. But I want you to notice, look at look at this guy. Look how he's dressed. Look how he acts. And as we go on in the video, you're going to understand why, why I'm telling you to check this guy out right now. We'll get there. How would you take care of them if officially you're unemployed? Thank What's you. Your I wasn't unemployed Thank then. You were unemployed. I wasn't unemployed then. Yes. Now, notice right here, it says, how are you going to take care of him if you're officially unemployed? So he doesn't have a job. So we, but but I feel like these court cases only focus on the guy. They make the guy to be out the building. Somehow the woman is innocent and she was misused and mistreated. But so you don't know if this guy's a father. So first thing first, we know you slept with more than one dude. Apparently without protection. But like I said, as this gets deeper and deeper, you'll understand where I'm going. I'm just going to keep, I'm just, I'm just shucking the driver right now. I'm going to get home. I wasn't unemployed then. Yes, you were. But I was selling no. Oh, excuse me, Your Honor. He was, he was, now he was doing that. But he was, he was receiving his daughter's social security check for her mother's death. And he wasn't giving me none like that. She knew. This guy was selling drugs. So she knew this was a drug dealer. Once again, I'm going to go back to you ladies. If, you baby, if your baby daddy ain't shit, then you ain't shit. Because you picked this dude to be the father of your child. One of the most important things I think you can do in this world is, is choose the correct mate. As a man, choose the correct female to procreate with. As a woman, pick the right dude to procreate with. So whenever you say my baby daddy wants shit, nah, you want shit. Because guess what? You screwed this guy. What about protection? Let's move. Let's keep it going. But he was he was receiving his daughter's social security check for her mother's death. And he wasn't giving me none like that. This woman knows that this guy already had other kids that he wasn't taking care of. Because if you notice, she, she even said, and she was, she was receiving his daughter's mom, it's his daughter's uh, social security check once, uh, once her mom had died. So she knew his situation. She knew she, uh, he already had kids. And she decided to lay down and have a kid with this guy. And remember, I'm going to keep throwing the facts out here. This is a drug dealer now. 
This is an unemployed drug dealer. And this is this is who you see said this is gonna be the father of my kid. Let's let's get let's get to it. You've candidly admitted that you've been moving merchandise. Oh, hey, the artists don't know it. Who don't know it? When was the last time you've been selling it? I ain't sold no dope in a long time, y'all. I've been smoking dope, and the reason why? You want to know the reason why? <laughs> For 38 years, I said I never smoked no dope. For 38 years, but I tell, I found out one thing: never say what you won't. The symptoms he is exhibiting, in my experience, he is actively under the influence. Mm -hmm. oh. He's a crackhead. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I even admitted that. No, he don't. No, he's. I've been smoking dope. Dope. So we talking about crack here. So not only is he selling crack, he's using crack. And we'll go back. Let's point this finger right back at the mom. So the father of your newborn is, 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 is the father of your newborn is an unemployed crackhead, so-called so used to be a drug dealer. This is his credentials. He already has kids. He's not paying for it. You already mentioned that earlier. So why? But look, why does the government say we are gonna just? let this woman run wild she can sleep with as many men as she, she, she wants if she gets pregnant don't know who the father is we can we're gonna help you find the father we're gonna give you all these rewards and benefits so at a certain point in time some females would just say well damn if I open up my legs get pleasure and produce a kid I get rewarded for it when a guy produces a kid in America he has to pay for it, whether he's with that woman or not. And if he doesn't pay it, then he gets he gets punished by the by the state. Women get rewarded by the state. Men get punished by the state. Because in most cases, the mothers don't get the child. Period. And be honest, ladies, right now. If you lay down, got pregnant, had to brought that kid to term, had the baby. And that baby automatically went to the father, and then the father has the right to put you on child support, and you have to pay a certain amount of money. Now keep in mind, you buried this child you, nine months. Pop that child out the government says, nope, kid's going with the father. Are you telling me in that situation, you gotta pay child support? If you don't pay child support, you go to jail. Because I know a lot of ladies, man, they have trouble paying like car note, uh, cell phone bills. So remember, they so even credit cards. So Remember, you miss two payments, you get locked up, you go to jail. And at this moment, now, this this now you understand the system is unfair. So are y'all trying to say we need child support for the kids? Nope, no you don't. All child support is as a reward. Let's get back to the show. And what I have here is a confession by somebody that looks like they're still on extended parole as a habitual offender mm -hmm. uh, after that? having a long... Uh, I've, been, I've, been out of, I've been out of the joint a long time ago. Not long. <laughs> the last three years you got was imposed January 15, 1998, and that would make you release 2001. That was a Class C felony. Uh, that was a third offense of possession of a controlled uh, substance no with intent to sell or deliver Schedule 2. They caught me on that You too. have multiple convictions for felony burglary and your... <laughs> Even if I didn't burglarize, I bought it. You have <laughs> aggravated or armed robbery in your history. Baby. Now, you are I in the status nobody. according to declaration of the Arkansas courts a <laughs> habitual offender. That I am. I don't know. Three strikes you out, next time around you get life. Oh, uh, I've been doing, I've been selling dope for a long time. Where'd you get it from? <laughs> Wait, who's your supplier? Who's my supplier? Yeah. What you talking about? <laughs> God supplied everything my need. This guy has a police record that's long. He has a long police record.
His police record is longer than the, than, 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 the, than the number of women Charlie Sheen slept with. That's pretty damn long. So he has all this in his background. And I go, we're going to keep, I'm going to take this finger and we're going to keep pointing at this lady. Because, uh, let's recap this. He's unemployed. He used to sell drugs. Dope head. Crackhead. And he has this long ass police record. This is like a, prof this is what they call a professional criminal. Like his resume is on point. If they were, if they was giving out rewards for most most crime, he he's got it. Burglary, armed robbery, and this is the guy she decided to sleep with and produce a kid. Hey, that's a test right there. Oh Lord, hold on, hold on. No. <laughs> do you really want him to be the one? Oh. No, I don't want him to be. What? What'd you say? Not really. Don't say that. Why? You uh, Then why did you want me to do B? Why did you have another one with me? How you know this one yours? Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, Why? Your Honor. Fucking bust out laughing at you. Now, see, the judge says, do you really want him to be the one? What does she say? No, not really. But see, she's not even sure. And now she says... And then the guy says, why did you have another woman? Which means this woman had already had a kid by this guy. So you take all that background information, this police record, he's unemployed, he's selling drugs. And you take all of that into consideration. She decided to sleep with this guy again. No protection. Let's count. Look, look. They have. He could have had war kind of. She could have worked on him. There's birth control. There's a morning after pill. There's abortion. You have all these options. And you knew you were sleeping with this guy. Who's crackhead? A lot of crackheads have AIDS because they share needles. And you decide this is going to be the father of my child. Look at this police record. No, no, he, he, he has, he's has six kids already. He's got six kids already. So this one will make the seven kids. Six kids. He's been in and out of jail, so he doesn't he doesn't have any income. So even if he even if he owes child support, he's not gonna be able to pay child support. He's unemployed. How you know this one yours? Oh. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, Your Honor. Fucking so bust out laughing at you. <laughs> Please do. I want you to laugh. I want it to be mine. Cause if either way it go, I'm still gonna love him the same. No, you ain't. You don't pay uh, for don't him. Don't I God love me the same? You don't pay for him now. Where's that? Yeah, cause how you know this one yours? And I I I I, I, I hate when women do this. Because this shit is not funny. It's not a game. I hate when women do this shit. That line right there. How you know this one yours? <laughs> See, look, it looks stupid. This is what she says. I think nobody looks more stupid in, in this court case than her. You got, you got that whole crowd of people like, damn, really? You slept with this dude? This chick ain't even that bad. Hey, she's not that bad looking. If she did something with her teeth, she's not that bad looking. Okay. I want to see this. And he's watch 40 TV years again. old, and look how he's I'll acting. I'll take care of mine in that, the penitentiary. That, yeah, $400 a week child support for 16 years, and I gave her $400 a week and a thousand and a ounce. A he's 40 years old. He's an habitual criminal status. Next time they get him, which looks to be soon, he'll you be think in so? for life. Hmm. Three years here, and a habitual criminal status. Which means next time they catch him doing anything, he's pretty much going to jail for life. He's already on his show high, high as hell. Because the judge can lock him up now. And he'll be in for life. He's on parole. Now, people think drugs cause this problem. They're not the cause most of the time. They are a symptom. And what's going on is... You're trying to commit suicide, and when you die, people will look at you and say drugs have claimed another victim, but that's a lie because you know it's killing you. You just want to die, and your sorry, pathetic life being in the status of a habitual criminal where you've got six children, you haven't done a damn thing for any of them, you're not prepared to do anything for this one, and you've wasted all your adult life and done nothing, and you got nothing to show for it. You're ready to die. 
Do that. Because she's laughing. No, no, I'll take care of her. I'll take care of her. I'll laugh. laugh. Sit down before you get jacked up. <laughs> the problem is you're watching somebody who's trying to achieve his death. Now, that's what you're looking at, and unfortunately, he is the father of your child. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. No, that's not thank you they for anything. They're me. They give me a reason to live. You already have six, fool, and you no, bailed no, out of those. But what in the devil are you going to do like with you this said one? I was never there for him. Money ain't everything. Money ain't nothing. He talks about how he's, he's using drugs to... He's trying to kill himself. And, um... And then he, I know Danny and I think he makes a statement, um, gives him a reason to live, and then the judge says, you already got six kids out here. And I already covered them. I already covered that. Because I said, the lady, he has all these kids out here. And like you said, he already, he already has another, this lady already has one of his kids, right? So this would be, this would be number two for him. And look at all that background information. Women, it's like, y'all could screw any damn body. It does not matter. The court system will always take you aside. The man will be the villain, he will be the hero. Because you get the opportunity to play victim. And that, unfortunately, he is the father of your child. Even the judge says it here, unfortunately, he's the father of your child. But then again, he's the father of your other child. And then again, he's the father of all these other childs. I, I don't know what this is. Now, I, don't, I don't know other races women. I ain't gonna focus on that. I'm black, so I'm gonna speak to my sisters. What the hell is it with, like, y'all sleeping with these ain't shit dudes and then complain about he ain't shit? This, this is the guy. Brothers in college ain't getting no ass. They ain't getting no action. Dudes like this, getting it all day. I don't know. I, m my theory is maybe the fact that he has all these other kids outside of marriage and whatnot, if you look at him as an easier target. No, I can just see this guy get a quick kid. That's why I say women sometimes use the child support system just to get the benefits and the money. They don't really care about the kid. They and sometimes they use they use this the kid as a weapon, as a tool to use to manipulate and control that man. If you don't do what I say, you ain't gonna see a kid. You don't do what I say, I'm gonna put you on child support. If you pay on child support, you seeing your kid, and it look like you kind of comfortable. They can go to the court and demand that you pay more money. Are you spending less time with the kid? This is Judge Joe Brown. And this is back maybe 2010, I believe. And it's 2016 now. And this this has gotten worse. And this is one of the reasons I don't like child support. Every, what you just seen in this video right here is why I do not like it. Because women can lay down with any guy they so desire. And they don't have to protect themselves. And it's like women have this past. They don't have to be responsible at all. And then the responsibility is, is pretty much just put on the men. Like, you don't want kids. Just wear a condom. But, um, but like I said, these women has all, these, this woman has all these options before she, before she has a kid. She can wear a condom. Birth control. Or a nap pill. She has the right to abortion. A guy can't tell a guy can't force a woman to abort. If, you, if the laws were fair, as a guy, if the laws were fair, I could be able to tell a woman, "Look, you're not gonna have that kid. You're gonna abort it." If the laws were fair, if the laws were fair, that woman can have that that kid, and the guy would say, "Well, look, I'm not ready to be a father. I don't want have nothing to do with that kid." And there should, and there should be a way he can sign over his rights because women have the right to do that. They can sign up with their rights at any time. Baby's born, they can live it at the hospital. They got a week or so. They, they can literally rent. They literally can rent a baby. They can literally take that baby home for two or three weeks. Decide so they don't want it, take it back to the hospital, and they, they will take the baby. She, the baby could be three or four years old. That woman can go to a police station or a fire station and drop that kid off and say, I don't want to be the mom anymore. And she has no rights, nothing tied to her. So she don't have to pay child support, child support in the future. Forever for that child, but now men don't have that. Now men, we can we can waive our rights, but we still got to pay. Is that fair? No, it's not. I didn't think so. This is Dr. J. This is another lesson on that child support. I told the child support 
is a, is a, is a huge topic and so many angles to it. There's so much stuff to discuss about it. And like I said, well, we're going to keep fighting a good fight. Man, we, we, it's time we demand our rights back. We need equal rights. Because so far, the child support system is one-sided. And it's, it's, it, it, it rewards women and it punishes us. Class is missed. Dr. J, signing off. Deuces. We gotta change these laws that benefit frauds With child support frauds of the drama that they cause Got us nailed like claws and the government gives our paws To put us in jail and make our life a living hell It is joys to fail, they enjoy us to fail Just to get a stupid ass check in the mail These hoes keep us in check when they garnish and our checks Bitches breathing down the neck with disrespect Looking like Shrek, what you expect? They got our kids life a wreck and she on to the next guy Why baby kids don't die, they multiply So she can look fly